Listen, this happens all the time. You know, players aren't happy when they come out. Could have been something that was planned, like in the first game where you're only going to play 45 minutes and then you come out. Absolutely. I actually think that was the case. I don't think the frustration from Balogun is that he was only going to play 45 minutes. When I asked you what is it about Balogun that you like, here's what I like about Balogun. He's got elite movement. The way he moves, finds space, is elite. He is sharp. He is crisp. He is decisive with his runs. Yes! These players in the U.S. Men's National Team, it's going to take them time to get used to the movement because it's a different player to find him. My worry isn't that. My worry is that this system, because I saw him deployed in a much deeper role, if you will, he wasn't getting the quality looks that one might expect. So here's my worry for both Ricardo Pepe and Fowler and Balogun. Fowler and Balogun, that you're not going to be in a system that's conducive to your style under Greg Berhalter. These patterns of play and through the history of Greg Berhalter, aren't made for the nine to finish. They're made for your wide players to finish. That's in reality, this interpretation of space is for everybody else around the nine, not for the nine. That is my worry for Flo. My worry for Ricardo Pepe is, if you have a penchant for scoring goals as a sub, guess what you will get typecast as? A substitute player. That is a worry for Ricardo Pepe because we look at the last six goals that he scored for the U.S. Men's National Team, They've come in substitution appearances. So there's a worry there for both, but it comes with this system that Greg Berhalter deploys. Yeah. This video for me is a big fat nothing burger. Right. There's nothing there. You know, I don't think I think there were some post-game comments that were more interesting when he was asked about Pepe, specifically the competition with Balogun. And he, I won't say that he threw club form out the window, but Berhalter made it seem like it was gonna be training sessions and what you do with the national team that was really going to make the difference. And he also mentioned Ricardo Pepe's pressing. He didn't mention Balogun's pressing. He mentioned Ricardo Pepe's pressing. So something to keep an eye out there. I think that's probably worth more than the, uh, the video that we saw there between Balogun and Burhalter. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.